Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is the segment where we take a quick look at some of the hottest floor plans on the market today. I'm coming at you from the Southern RV sales lot where I'm standing in a brand new 2022 Sport Trek Touring 343VIK. This is from Venture RV and it's loaded to the gills with all sorts of cool features. I'm standing in the back of the RV where I'm in the living room. The living room is super nice, it's equipped very well. We have a tri-fold sofa in the very back, so this is going to fold out and sleep too if you happen to have guests. Notice they've put storage up and above it. And then across from our television and entertainment center, we have theater seating. Not only is this theater seating, it's got recliners, but it also has massage and heat built in. There's storage up above and even a couple of cup holders and a charging port for your tablets and phones. I think that's super cool. Directly across from that, we have our massive entertainment center with a Sansui Smart TV above our in a flame fireplace. This actually puts out heat. It's an electric fireplace. It has loads of different color combinations as well as variable temperature settings. We have storage in the form of large cabinet space above and some small shelving units to the left and the right. I think that's really nice. It's a good place to store some extra stuff. Off to this side, you'll find our DVD player slash Bluetooth head unit that connects to both the interior speakers, which are built into our ceiling, as well as the outside of the unit. Pushing forward towards the nose of the trailer, we end up in our kitchen. Because this is opposing slides, it really opens it up. This kitchen is equipped with this massive center island, hence the name, the VIK, Venture Island Kitchen. The island itself has solid surface countertops, a big sink that's stainless steel with a single basin with sink covers, just to extend that countertop and allow for adding to some extra versatility with washing and drying dishes. Behind me, we have a big, big curio slash buffet. Notice that we have plugs on either side of this nice flat space here where we could host appliances. We could have a little bar set up there, your coffee maker. I can think of all sorts of different reasons to use that. In the slide itself, we have a Furion microwave above our three burner stove, which has a glass top. And that's just going to help, again, extend that counter space. Below it, we have our oven as well as a little extra storage in the form of a drawer down low. Something new that I've noticed this year, these kind of glass front, very modern looking Furion electric refrigerators. Doing the front this way really cleans it up and kind of brings it up a level. A small pantry with adjustable shelving is to the left of that. And there's a skylight up above just to let in all that natural light while you're cooking. For dining, they've equipped us here with a freestanding table and chairs. Again, storage is the name of the game. It's even built into the chairs, as you see here. That makes it easy to host the family. And then pushing into the hallway right across from our entryway, as soon as we come through the door, they have some pretty cool hidden storage with some USB and power points up above. We have our GoPower solar monitoring station here because this is equipped with a solar panel on the roof. And then below that, we have our first of two control points for our heating and air. Also in the hallway, we have our main control for all of our slides and leveling systems as well as our uh, our awnings. This is also Bluetooth capable. Our bathroom is actually pretty big. One thing I like about it, at six foot three, I'm able to stand up in this shower and my head's not even in the skylight. Normally in these types of RVs, I'd have to have my head in the skylight just to be able to shower. Not the case here. I've got plenty of room. They have one of these cool sliding doors that opens up and closes off the shower area. Cabinetry up above our foot flush toilet, as well as a medicine cabinet above a stainless steel sink with some storage down below. GFCI outlets really just kind of round this out. 
Towards the front, we have our bedroom. One thing that's really cool about this bedroom is that they put it on an east-west slide so that we can get a king bed in here. In addition to that, we have at the foot of the bed a nice big chest of drawers just really expanding on the storage space within this unit. They've got shelving on the sides, drawers down low, even some hidden storage built into the top. We do have the ability to hook up a TV in here. It's in the corner right up over our chest of drawers here, so it's directly across from the bed. At the very front of the front cap, you can see where we have a big window looking to the outside. That's automotive grade windshield that's out there. So that's going to create a nice view and also allow for a lot of light to come into this bedroom. Traditional closets flank either sides. There's cubbies in the back on both sides with power available to them. Both of these closets are hanging closets with some nice flat storage up above. They've even built in some blue mood lights behind the glass there to give you a nice low light effect. Now this is a 50 amp service camper, so it is equipped with two air conditioners. One of those is directly here in the bedroom. They're both ducted, but they are connected together. The bed itself lifts up, and that reveals a nice bit of storage down beneath. And last but not least, with this bedroom, hiding over here on the back side of the bathroom, I'll open this up. More closet space, but what's more important about it is that we can hook up a washer-dryer combo unit in here. That's pretty cool for long-term stays. We've also got storage up above our bed with USB ports and power, so if you do want to plug up your phone and use it as an alarm clock right above your head, you have the ability to do so. But that's not where all the cool features end. There's still more to see. Let's pop outside and check out the outside kitchen. It's pretty cool. Stepping out of the 343, we have a friction hinge door leading into these nice solid steps with a big grab handle. All of this is up under two giant electric awnings where they've built in the LEDs into the awning arm to shine back down onto your patio area at the evening time so that you can have a nice lit up area as you're dining outside and enjoying some nice camping weather. Here at the very back of the unit, we have a huge outside kitchen. This thing's pretty cool. It's got a sink built into it, plenty of storage in the form of cabinetry, lots of lights, a griddle from Elite Series. This is a suburban griddle. And there's even an Everchill refrigerator out here. That's pretty slick if you ask me. In addition to that, here at the rear of the camper, there's a two inch receiver hitch for carrying extra stuff. You could hook up a little uh, bike rack to that or like a basket for carrying firewood. Also, we have two separate propane connections out here for the kitchen. So if you did want to run, in addition to your gas griddle, a big grill or something like that, we have the ability to do so. At the very front of the camper, we have our pass-through storage. It's on a slam latch with an insulated baggage door with magnetic catches. So it's super easy to operate. It's a nice wide space in there for storing camp chairs, extra accessories, and all the fun things you want to bring along on your camping trip. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this super quick tour of the 343 VIK. Come see it for yourself in person here at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia, or visit us online at southernrv.com. Until next time, happy camping.